fitting for today's warm weather. The Central Oregon Junior Golf Association is gearing up for its 2022 season. Jack Hirsch visited one of the clinics today. He joins us now with more on Koja's new goals. Jack? That's right, Lee. Previously, Koja was blurring the lines in the levels of junior golf. Now they see themselves as a group to introduce young ones to the game. Nick Kitt loves teaching golf. It lets me be a kid again. That's probably the bottom line. He's the tournament director for the Central Oregon Junior Golf Association, or Koja. I'm going to make a brontosaurus with their putter. But Kit says Koja had a bit of an identity crisis the past few years. We've been kind of known as a tournament organization appealing to more competitive and established golfers in the past. There's kind of a hierarchy to junior golf with the top players playing in events like the American Junior Golf Association. Those kids are trying to earn looks from top college programs. A step below are state level events. For us in Oregon, those are run by the Oregon Golf Association. But below those are the feeder tours, developing players for the higher levels here. And that's where Koja wants to be. We're trying to get more clubs and more kids hands and focus a little bit less on the only competitive established golfers. They'll still run events for kids five through high school, but also more of the exposure clinics like this one on Monday. There's a huge void in getting kids exposed to golf. Um, so we're trying to take this approach that is um, more inclusive, um, more affordable and less intimidating for all kids. We can dance a little bit. That can mean both having scholarships to help families cover the barriers or setting up dino themed courses. Registration for their summer tournament starts March 15th in Bend. Oh, Coach A missed. <laughs> Jack Hirsch, News Channel 21. For more information on clinics and events run by Koja, check out the link on our website, ktvz.com. Lee?